Well, new tonight, the Oceanside Planning Commission approved a new four story condo development off South Coast Highway. Fox 5's Megan Healy joins us live with details on this project and why it's receiving so much pushback tonight. Megan. Good evening to you, Phil. This is actually the second time that the Oceanside Planning Commission has discussed this proposal and tonight residents spoke out, many of them in opposition, saying that this large scale project wouldn't fit the neighborhood and would cause major parking issues. Five in favor, one against Commissioner. In a five to one vote, the Oceanside Planning Commission approved a four story, 54 unit condo building proposed for this automotive service center off Coast Highway in Moore Street. The owner of LSI Automotive, forced to move his business, is okay with the change. Nothing stays the same. Um, I'm sure we'll be okay. I'm sure we're going to find another uh, another building to rent. But other residents are not, saying it will change the character of the neighborhood that's mostly comprised of single-family homes. We're not against development, but it's this particular project will set precedent for our uh, neighborhood, and it's got to be right. A group called Save South O voiced their opposition to the project at Monday's meeting. We see the congestion. We see the safety hazards um, for bicyclists, for skaters, for the kids in strollers. Hallmark Development Corporation's project qualifies for a density bonus, which allows for more units because it's including five low income ones and is near transit. It's a well designed project on an infill site near transit, it's providing much needed housing, obviously, providing affordable housing, market rate housing, and a project that meets the city's zoning code and state law. One person, a real estate developer, supported the proposal. If someone's following all of the rules as they're prescribed, and then if they're going to be denied after they're doing that, that sort of sends a concerning message to someone in the business community. City leaders say their hands are tied as they need to meet state housing requirements, including more than 30 bills signed by Governor Newsom just last month. In this discussion, the city attorney said that commissioners could veto the proposal if it violated health and safety code, which it did not. So a lot of the residents who oppose this project, Phil, plan on appealing it to the city council. Reporting live in Oceanside, Megan Healy, Fox 5 News. Thank you, Megan.